Assalamu alaikum my dear friends I hope you are all well in this video I will tell you about Victory IO and communicating it with MHJ DLC first of all let's open Victory IO click on new click on file new now let's create a 4 meter conveyor and something to drag on it so that we can know that the conveyor is running now click V and drag it upwards now we just the box over the conveyor now we are all set to start program now go to file and drivers and and we will choose MHJ PLC here is our PLC and it's already connected now open win SPS software now now click on create a new solution give it a name example one and click enter now click on ob1 and here's go to factory io and add some buttons to it so that we can start and stop the conveyor by clicking on the button drag a panel and add two buttons a start button and a stop button our panel is all set for the program now we have a start button and a stop button a conveyor to run and now we will go to MHJ software and the first button is the start button its address is I 0.0, .0. now here is stop button its address is I 0.1 and our output is conveyor which will be controlled by these two numbers its address is Q 0.0, .0. Now you will think how do I know these inputs and outputs. These inputs are defined. These inputs are defined by we will connect the start button on I0.0 .0 and the stop button on I0.1 and the conveyor will be con our PLC connection is all set now we will program this first of all we will add a normally closed contact its address will be 0.0, .0 for a start button and the second thing will be the output which is the conveyor and its address is 0.0, .0. now let's check the program synchronize it and run it from here now run it from here and click on the button as we leave the button it will stop the conveyor as we click on the button it will start the conveyor so now what we have to do is we have to start the conveyor by just clicking the button only once the conveyor should continue until I click on the stop button so first of all let's do this we will add another branch here click by clicking on here on this button and now click on the normally close contact and give it an address of Q 0, 0.0 which is the address of the conveyor we loop the output with the input button so that our conveyor keeps continue until we stop it and here we will add another button to stop this conveyor and the we will give it the address of the stop button now synchronize this software stop the program and run it again 
now run the factory io click on this button and conveyor will continue and as we click on the stop button conveyor will stop so here is our first program to start and stop a conveyor by clicking on two buttons hit the like button if you like this video and you have learned something from this video